never satisfied. I want the prim fram sauce that I'll spend. Chef Papa on the side. Hi, welcome to Robert's Most Yum Cooking Show from here at East Yola Lodge in beautiful Linville, North Carolina. It's Robert's Most Yum Cooking Show, and today I get to welcome Ben Whitehead from the Coyote Kitchen, and we have sous chef Chris Escott, who will be joining us. What will you be fixing today? Well, Robert, today we'll be fixing blackened tofu hummus melts. Yum. And we're also going to make our jalapeno twin pork tacos with fried onion rings. Well, raising the roof, you want to go to Coyote Kitchen in Boone. Where's the location? It's located in the Walmart shopping plaza off of Blown Rock Road. Yes, you want to go there. And I love your salsas and your chips that you have there. It's such a great place to go, the Coyote Kitchen. Okay, where do we begin? Well, first thing that we're going to begin is our rosemary lime hummus. Yes. So we're going to take in our food processor. Okay. We have we're, chickpeas. We have cooked chickpeas. These are cooked. Uh, this also is also known as garbanzo beans. Yes. Well, we love chickpeas. So you're going to soak them. Then you're going to cook them. Okay. Strain off the juice. Put about a cup and a half in. All right. We're going to take lime juice. Lime juice. That's fresh squeezed, I'm sure. Yes, it is. Yes. Make sure the seeds are out. Yes. Use a screen. Yes. We're gonna put in our toasted rosemary. All right. And ground, grind it fine. Mm. How exciting. We're gonna put in two roasted garlic cloves. Oh, I see that. We're gonna put in about a quarter of a cup of canola oil. Okay. Rosemary, garlic. Mm. We're gonna put in about half a cup of tahini. Now tahini is a sesame seed paste. You can find it in the better grocery stores and some of the health food stores, of course. We're going to put in just a little bit of fresh cilantro. Ooh, cilantro. That really going to give a good flavor to it. Uh, this is optional, but we're going to put in a table of tablespoon of sugar. Okay, going to sweeten it up, and this hummus is delicious. And this is just a little pinch of cayenne, pinch of cumin, and a pinch of coriander. Oh, so the flavors, cayenne, cumin, coriander. Coriander's got that orange flavored essence, and you're gonna cook that up here. Mm -hmm. Yes, hummus made right in your living room. How exciting. Uh, we're gonna take this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have we're a spatula, and we're gonna be using that later. We're gonna, yep, we're gonna put that right onto our bread after we get everything else set up. Okay. So we'll set that. Yes. Right here now we're going to put together our blackening spice for the tofu. Okay. We have just a little blackening bit of spice. our blackening spice. Yes, for the tofu. For the tofu, mm -hmm. we're going to have a little bit of thyme. All right. Thyme. Mm. A little bit of cayenne. Yeah. A little bit of oregano. Yes. Bring in that Italian flavor. A little black pepper. Oh boy. A little salt. It's important to flavor tofu, isn't it? It's definitely important. Yes. Uh, it takes on any flavors that it it can get. Yes. Then we have paprika. Paprika. Which is the key ingredient. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to mix this up. Okay. I'll do that for you. Oh, thank you. All right. While we're doing that, I'm going to prepare our tofu. Yes. Extra firm tofu. Yes. And whenever you buy these tubs, make sure that you recycle these. These are number one and number two plastics, so they can be recycled. Interesting. Uh, I know Coyote Kitchen is eco-friendly. Coyote Kitchen is eco-friendly. Yes. We, uh, we try to recycle all of our plastic. We recycle all of our cans, our glass. We use CFL bulbs in the restaurant. Oh. And we also have installed ceiling fans to help keep the cost of air conditioning down. And I know when I went there, I had the cutlery that's made from cornstarch. Yes, our to-go cutlery is potato starch. is compostable in 90 days. How exciting. Yes. You know, Coyote Kitchen is being eco-friendly. So you want to visit them and support them and promote this whole idea of being eco-friendly. Yes, you do, sir. Yes, you do. Okay, now you've got this uh, mixture of spices. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna coat our tofu in it. I see that. So it's a dry coat. It is a dry coat. Yes. And uh, you've got a hot pan here. Hot little cast iron skillet. Now yes. normally we mm -hmm. grill these, but today we'll be using our 
skillet. Okay. Grilling makes the difference for this dish, right? I prefer the grilling method. Yes, I, I would agree. Um, it, we don't currently have a, a grill right here to we could use, but we've got this cast iron skillet. And is the hot? Is the fire on it? Yes, I see it is. Now with uh, yes. tofu, you just have to make sure you get it really covered because it's mm -hmm. high protein, which means that it will stick to your pans. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to see any okay any clear. And let everybody see how well you've coated that. That is such a beautiful piece of tofu. All right. And tofu is soybean curd, and it is such a great protein source. And the man's got it going on here, sizzling, mm-hmm, sweet. Are you done with this, sir? I am done with that. Thank you, Robert. All right. Okay. So now, while that's going on, we're going to go ahead and cut our signature rosemary bread. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, look at that. Can I try a taste? Yes, you can. I, lo I love rosemary bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now while the tofu is going, I'm going to hand this to Chris so they can start to toast the bread. Okay, Chris, our sous chef, is now going to toast the bread. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to start our saute pan with the sauteed button mushrooms. All right. I got the pan. And I got the fire. What we have right here is a little bit of our homemade grill marinade. Anyone can do that pretty much. Equal parts of soy sauce, their favorite vinegar, and their favorite uh, favorite oil. Yes. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder to flavor. Okay. So we're going to let that get nice and hot. And what, what we have right here are sliced button mushrooms. All right. Let me get this going on here. Once again, uh, this is soy sauce. Soy sauce, canola oil, mm -hmm. and your favorite vinegar. Okay. And you're using uh, white vinegar or red wine vinegar? We happen to use unseasoned rice vinegar. Unseasoned rice vinegar. Yes. Yummy. All right. All right, so we'll get this pan hot. I see it's beginning to simmer. And we'll get these in there. Okay, I'll take care of that. All right, we're also gonna dice up our romas and we're gonna slice our lettuce. Okay, all right. That's a good heat there. I'm gonna put these mushrooms in here. Uh, once again, your location. Location is in the Walmart shopping plaza off of Blowing Rock Road. Oh yes, you wanna go there, Coyote Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now then. I'll work on the tomatoes All right. and the lettuce if you want to take care of those I definitely will. mushrooms. Yeah. Now, do you like the large dice or you want a small dice? Oh, rough dice would be fine. Okay. Just, you know, however you prefer it on your sandwich. All right. Will these go in that pan? They're not going to go in the pan. They're going to go on top of this underneath the cheese to be broiled. Oh, oh yeah. Sad. Yes, yes. Get those right there. I'm going to check my tofu. Let it get a little hotter. All right. Yes. And while you're doing that, Robert, I'm going to start slicing up. We have baby spinach here that's been rinsed and we've picked off the stems. Okay. Baby spinach. Yummy. So all these vegetables remind me that Coyote Kitchen features vegetarian recipes. We do. Uh, in fact, a third of our menu is vegetarian. Yum. <laughs> it's earth friendly. It is. Yeah. And uh, anything that we serve can be made vegetarian if you want. And if you do have any special diet needs, mm -hmm. uh, such as vegan, uh, glucose problems, sugar problems, you can let our staff know. Mm -hmm. Everything's made fresh in a store daily, so we know what's going into it, so we can help you out. Awesome. So wheat gluten diets, uh, sugar diets that are related to diabetes, and then vegetarian diets. So you want to go to Coyote Kitchen? And they're eco-friendly. How exciting! <laughs> I smell that 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 uh, seasoning is that's is coming together. Like so, I said, tofu is a little tofu is a little is a high protein, so it is going to get yes. So you can always grab a little bit more blackening. Okay. Now, would you like top. this uh, lettuce shredded further? Uh, just a, just a little bit. Just... I'm having fun. <laughs> Welcome to Robert's Most Yum Cooking Show. We're in your living room right now, Coyote Kitchen, 
downtown area of Boone, uh, the Blowing Rock Road. You want to eat there. 